Hey guys, today I'm playing some more City Skylines, and uh, what are we what are we doing? We have lots of demand for things. What did we do last time? Oh yeah, I was trying to make this canal work. Someone said put a dam here. Seems pretty like a pretty good idea. Probably should. Probably won't. Um, I don't really know. I might just play around with this a bit. Yeah, you know how I like to play around with dumb bullshit in City Skylines. Mostly water. Because seriously, put anything about water in your title and people will watch. Maybe this should... Because this has a... this would be... hmm, maybe this should be the first canal. Yeah, let's just go canal crazy and if it goes wrong, we'll delete it. It's just fun to play around, you know? Um... Yeah, maybe just like a small canal. Because water's coming in here. I'll link it up here. We got a canal going! It's going uphill! Why do you hate me? Well, we'll we'll just watch that hopefully work. Please work. This is everything I care about. Oh, that's actually working. Really wish I'd done that in the first place. I hate myself. Alright! <laughs> okay, we need more industry, more shops, more houses, more not people being sick and dead, but they're gonna be dead anyway because this all happens in waves of death, as I've explained before. But we definitely need more crematoriums. Um, just put them everywhere, really. You know? Get a house near a crematorium. Smell the death in the morning. Oh, that's dark. Now I'm sad. Thanks, guys. Maybe maybe I shouldn't talk. Maybe these should be silent. <laughs> no, it's not you come here for the gameplay. Um, or maybe you do. Well, I get, I get, yeah, I mean, I, I do say that a lot, that this isn't about the gameplay. But yeah, it's fun. I like this game. I mean, yeah. Alright, it's not quite at the level of John Green playing FIFA, which I really like watching, and I'm really sad that you can't get FIFA on the PC, because I would actually really love to run a career mode in, uh, in FIFA, because, like, I reckon... I reckon I could I could make some headway. Um, not that I care huge amounts about football, except AFC Wimbledon, because it's an interesting story, um, which you can find out more about at Hank Games. I don't know why I'm advertising someone else's gaming channel, fuck them. <laughs> but I do love John Green, so... Alright, how's the canal going? Pretty good. Not quite enough water. I wish I was... Why wasn't there enough water? Fuck you! I hate you! Ugh. Ugh. Just... Ugh. Yeah. I like the idea of putting a dam here. But that would flood this. Yeah, I gotta break a few eggs, you know? <laughs> gotta, gotta break some eggs. Alright, where's not... Because there's already so much commercial here. I reckon there's commercial. Oh, there's too much commercial. I need someone to put commercial where there isn't that much commercial zone. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna expand this down a bit. I never really completed much with this. Um, I might turn this into a bridge rather than just a damn it, man. I want that to be a bridge, but ah, oh, damn it, man, reminded me of uh, of Star Trek, and that reminded me of the guy died. I'm sad about that. What's his name? Oh, I just forgot his name. That's that's sad. But you know the guy who played um, Chekhov in New Star Trek? He died. He was like one of the best things about those those, those series. It's, it sucks, you know. Yeah, that's a that's a bad things happening. But hey, today is the EU vote. I hope y'all voted if you can. I did. I went down. Well, went up because it's actually up a hill. But I went up to the polling station, cast my vote. Exercise my right to democracy made one forty-three millionth of a difference. I changed lives there. <laughs> no, but you should vote because you have as much sway as anyone else. But I guess it's going to be a little late because I'm going to upload this pretty much after their uh, vote closes, probably. But you know, um, I'm sure that <laughs> wouldn't be that much difference. But yeah, and I'm sure there will be questions. So I did vote for. Uh, vote to, to remain. I thought that was a smart idea, you know? It seems like, uh, seems like the EU's a generally good thing. Um, and people are like, but they get too much say on our laws, and I just think that the more people who have say on a law, the more valid the law is, and, uh, economically, apparently, it's much, it's very hard to tell, and I really hate both sides' campaigns. They've been awful, but, um, yeah, and I think uh, if you have the chance of jumping into oblivion or staying where everything's sort of okay but not really but good enough, then just stay there, you know? <laughs> I'm not a not a radical. I think that looks nice. Well, yeah, that's all I'm going to say on the matter. 
it's uh yeah I I, I really hope hope we stay because because yeah Although I did hear, uh, well, apparently that's no longer going to sound the matter, because I did hear there was a idea for an EU army. Uh, a lot of people are against that, think that might be a good thing, you know? Why not? Should have a bigger, unified army. I can't see a problem with that, other than national pride. And national pride's a pretty dangerous thing. Um, and yeah, and Britain is not a powerful country anymore. I think that's the mistake a lot of people seem to be making, is, uh, oh, well, we'll have our power back. It's like, we... We are not a relevant country on the world stage anymore, <laughs> you know. But anyway, that is all I'm going to say on the matter, probably. But anyway, yeah, I, I kind of like this. this. This looks nice. This looks uh pretty nice. I'm gonna just keep curving up roads, and then oh yeah, that's gonna be an issue because yeah, there's nowhere else to. Well, it looks nice for now. This will be a shopping district. I have decided. I think it'll be a nice shopping district. It's a really big one. People can come from all around to see the shops, see the sights. Um. All right. Oh fuck. Oh no. I missed a square. Okay. I'm gonna want to put the oh water's already here. Good. I've already planned all of this. Totally planned. But I will need water on all of this. I don't know. Why I don't do it all at once. It's almost like I'm a very lazy person. Um. Which I am. I got back to my uh, house the other day, uh, in back home, where I have a memory foam mattress, and I've had this awful mattress for so long at uni, and oh my god, I just slept until like one yesterday. I don't. I try not to sleep in really late anymore, but uh, I totally did. I was like, oh, this is like so nice. It's not. It, I can't feel all of the springs. You know, it was a good feeling. Yeah, the bed I had in uni was terrible. Um, I think it gave me back problems. I may sue. <laughs> yeah, suing places. They better give me my goddamn deposit back. I'm probably gonna scum some out of it, scum some of it out of me, because you know, oh, your room wasn't clean enough. It was clean as hell, boy. That's how I'll say it to them. Um, all right, more houses. Can we get any? Oh yeah, I was going for monuments last time, wasn't I? I have been doing that quite a lot. Um, yeah, what was that one I really wanted? The official park, doesn't it? Oh, cool. Service. Office build. I thought I already had one of these. Oh no. Okay, so if I create 30 more service buildings, then. Okay, right, let's just pause the game. And cre do crematoriums count? Because I'll just buy them, you know? Yeah, alright, okay, so we just gotta make 30 crematoriums, because they're quite small. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And I will be deleting them quite soon. Alright, servers office buildings. Where do I want these? I think I kind of want them near my offices. Oh, we have power problems. Oh, no. Yeah, let's have the servers office buildings near the office buildings. It seems to make sense, you know? Although they are servicing, not like office offices, but whatever. We are having power issues, but first I need to delete all of these. I reckon that's probably what killed my power, having 30 crematoriums running. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. God damn it, me. What do I do these things? Well, I got a sick building out of it, so. Sick building, bro. Alright. Okay. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't know why that came up, but whatever. Alright. Um, gonna try and get a few more. I like uh, getting the cool buildings. I want to get some more monuments as well. Yeah, if I've deleted 30, surely there should be something that's like, yeah, he probably wants to delete all of these. I'll stop asking. Yeah, alright. I think power should be restored now. Maybe not. Maybe I'm hugely mistaken. Oh no, it's coming back. Yeah, I do need more power though. Do you reckon that's a day? Uh, I wonder if that's... I think I need more power in the day. I really wish I could see uh, if I need more in the day. Because I think salt, if I could just put down like a solar plant. Um, get another nuclear power station? Or just another oil-fired power plant? Because the thing about oil-fired power plants is I make a lot of oil, so it's really cheap. Um, I know that's not a good thing because, you know, oil isn't a great thing to burn to make power. But whatever! It's a game. Uh, 
We've given up on green cities a long time ago. All right, this isn't help. This isn't working out. All right, maybe I should lower this whole island. Just lower it the shit down. Well, my idea was to fill this up with water, but there isn't really enough water. We'll figure this out. I want to make some. I want. I want some canals somewhere. Maybe this is the wrong island to do it in. But uh, I don't know. Let's yeah. Let's scope for a better location. This wouldn't be bad, you know. There's already canals there. This could be a nice place. Are the natural resources on it? Shit. Well, we'll see. Um, mountain here, but yeah, this could be a good place to do it actually. Um, I could make something nice out of this canal, uh, and we could uh, have a nice little thing going. Yeah, maybe we will. Just have a maybe a whole separate town. That'll probably be in a future episode though. But I do want to get this river looking nicer. Because I think it's a bit crappy right now. So, let's landscape, bitches. Oh, God, I hate that I have to dump all that soil. I know it totally makes sense. Um, but, still. Yeah, I need a bigger brush. I'm so glad I figured out the tree brush all by myself with no help from some helpful subscriber. All by myself. Nailed it. I just quite like this river now. It's kind of nice, and I made it. I like making things. I like carving rivers. Um, which I think was the actual name of the last episode. Because <laughs> I carved a river with my bare hands. Technically, because, you know, I'm using a mouse, so. Oh, that wouldn't be my bare hands. I'd be using a mouse. So, my, with my hands with mouse. <laughs> Maybe by bare hands, I mean I have hands that are bears. You know, like a hand hands a bear would have. But I guess that's more paws, though. They have paws? Yeah, I'd call a bear's hands paws. They have claws on them, but they're totally paws. Oh, bears are cute. I mean, actually, in reality, bears are terrifying, but... Bought my girlfriend a giant six-foot bear for her anniversary. It's so cute. I freaking love it. Um, <laughs> and obviously, she loves it too. I didn't just buy it for myself, but she's one of the raiders, so I got a giant six-foot bear, which is a ridiculous bear. It's, like, massive. <laughs> It, like, takes up the whole bed, so, uh, yeah. Uh, but still, it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> I love it so much. It was probably the best purchase ever, even though I don't get to keep it. Although, because she has a dog, and when she comes home, I might get to have it in my house this summer, so the dog doesn't, like, murder it, because it thinks it's, like, a predator. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit, there's a bear in the house. Maybe what I could do is just pump loads of water down here, you know, the, uh... Oh, that would be dirty water if I'm doing this. Yeah, this is really grim. All these boats doing their thing. Yeah, I gotta do a spore let's play at some point, haven't I? Because Patreon, they have reached the goal for a spore let's play, which um, I'm kind of mad about. Hey, the water level's properly raised now. It's a proper river. Yeah, never been so annoyed to get money. Uh, <laughs> Just put it on the stretch goal, and it's like, yeah, I probably won't get that. And I did. But, you know, it'll be fun. That's an old kind of joke from a live stream, if you don't remember. If you ain't OG tape. Um, yeah, original gangster. <laughs> it wasn't even that long ago, I don't think. Wow, that's a lot of traffic. Hmm. This. Well, okay, let's see if I can improve this a tiny bit. If I make a few of these things motorways, like if I make this a motorway, oh, I'll have to have two though, then, won't I? I'm just thinking if I make these motorways, it might be slightly quicker because then there'll be three junctions instead of one. Um, yeah, I, I know I'll lose these shop, these. Um, I'll lose these, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, I think it'll make the traffic flow a lot better, so. Um, I'm going to leave this for now, but... Oh shit, that's going to fuck up one of the bus routes. I'll figure it out then, boss. Just... Well, if I get rid of... If I just get rid of these stops. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, I think that might help. Um, I guess there'll still be traffic lights, though, won't there? People keep telling me to get a mod to make it easier, but... That yeah, seems like kind of like cheating at this point. Like, if I started with it, sure, but now it's like, I want to solve it myself. 
Ah, this motor is going well. Considering the amount of effort I put in to reopen that motorway. You'd hope it would be. Alright. How's the space elevator doing? People visiting the space elevator? Oh, wow. It's actually 150 people a week. That's not bad. Like, usually they don't do that well. Whoa, that's busy. People really like the space elevator, huh? Gotta thicken this road. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I guess it's mostly garbage trucks? No, it's just stuff, you know. People like this place. I wanted to make it like a really nice sort of... Just a really nice, you know, office place. And space elevator. Which as I've explained many times is a really dumb idea. Just a space elevator in general. In theory, like, oh yeah, that's a cheap way to get space. In reality, really dangerous. I mean, more dangerous than being on top of a controlled explosion. I mean, what does that tell you? Although it is a controlled explosion, so, I mean, it's pretty safe, mostly. Yeah. Alright. Alright, it's going well. More industry, apparently, we need. Uh, I might just really pack on this ore industry, because it's a really, you know, it's really varied work, I think, at least, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so you get uneducated, educated, and, uh, yeah, we do, we still got a pretty good split. Uh, more people are getting through school, which is fine, but you do want to keep some people uneducated. Not mine's about a quarter right now, which is really bad for real life. Oh yeah, I forgot about this giant patch of trees. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I also want to surround this in trees, obviously. Oh cool, what's this? Basketball court. Awesome. Um, no, we want more trees. What kind of trees do we want? I think pine trees would look nice. Uh, yeah, if I just, if I do this, yeah, that'll just surround it quite nicely. Um, yeah, I think there is a maximum amount of trees you can have, but hopefully we won't find that. I assume it's quite a lot, and I can just delete trees from other places, so it's fine. Yeah, trees just keep, keep the pollution in quite well. Um, and, you know, I, since I'm not going for a totally green city, uh, I thought it would just be better to have, like, forests keeping in my pollution, uh, which I should be doing everywhere. Like, this is too polluted, really, um, for my liking. Um, so if I surround it with trees, that should help absorb the pollution. Thank you, trees. I'm sorry we totally fucked you on this, but... <laughs> What you gonna do, eh? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna want some more trees here as well. I'm just gonna put trees there. I'm gonna go tree crazy. There's a lot of pine trees. Uh, just keep the pollution in. Can't really see because it's dark. Stupid city skyline is after dark. Uh, Could have just called it city skyline series too. But I do like the after dark stuff since it adds like tourism and stuff. I think that's quite a good feature. Um, yeah. Alright, but I think I'm going to kind of stop adding offices in here now, maybe fill this out with offices, but this is kind of going to be the end of the office district, and there's going to be a bit of an office district over here, um, and then we'll take off from there, there's a few over here, but not that many, um, so yeah, and I think I'm going to make this all houses, um, and then there'll be a bit more kind of commercial up here, but there's already kind of too much commercial here, really. I feel like it's just too much all in one place. Um, but it is spread out, I guess. It's just all touching. Oh, we lose money at night. Oh yeah, power needs. Yeah, we hardly use any power at night. See, we, we use about 200, kilo, uh, 200 megawatts less. So I'm thinking we could get a solar plant to give us the extra power in the day. I know it's not super needed right now, but I might get rid of a couple of the oil plants. Um, or at least one of them. Uh, and wait, what else, what other power generation do I have? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, so I'm gonna get a solar plant from the day, um, basically, because we use much more power in the day, because people are at work, uh, so more buildings require power, so I don't know where exactly I'm gonna put this. Um, maybe just, I think it would be nice to be near here, really, because, um, this is, like, gonna be my really nice little bit of island, I think. So, yeah, I'll put it... I think I'll put it over here. Uh, I think that'll just be quite, quite good. Uh, yeah. 
All right. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. I think I was originally going to make this like industry or something, but that ain't going to happen. I want it to be nice. And solar power. Which, yeah, because there's no battery technology in the game, it only really works for kind of merging the gap between day and night. But in reality, solar power is probably the best, because it's, the thing about solar power, it's quite low impact, like generating, um, uh, generating, like making solar panels and installing them, either on houses or in really big fields or something like that is far lower impact than, say, putting in wind turbines, which, you know, you have to build a giant wind turbine, you have to take it to a place, and you gotta get a load of people to put it in, and that actually can be damaging to the environment sometimes more than it helps. Um, so, yeah, I'm more of an advocate of solar power than um, of, like, wind energy. But I think also, like, you, there's things like tidal energy, which are quite good. Um, things like that. But, yeah. So, in conclusion... Use solar energy, but wind energy is obviously better than burning oil. I hear where I live, there was gonna be um, a plan to put in like enough. Uh, well, where I where I live at home, not like in London, uh, but I, where I uh, they, they were gonna put in like a load of wind turbines that would provide 38% of the country's power. And I'll, I'm obviously more for solar panels, but wind turbines, I guess, maybe easier or something, and there's not so much sun in Britain, although I think people think if it's cloudy they generate no power, but that's simply not true. But anyway, yeah, so they're going to do that, but people were really against it because I live in a area of, I think, outstanding natural beauty is what they call it, and yeah, that's true, and I think to some degree that would be marred quite seriously by so many wind turbines, but I think... Like, maybe marring one area of outstanding natural beauty probably would be better than um, apocalyptic climate change. And I know producing 38% of Britain's power isn't going to you know, save us from climate change, but it would really help. And I, I might do that thing Hank Green was talking about where you write a letter to your MP or your congressman or whomever um, because a letter is more impactful than like a... Oh yeah, this is flowing way better now. Anyway, a letter is more impactful than than an email, so I might do that actually to uh, my MP and be like, yo, fuck you doing, boy? What you doing? What you doing, son? Save the world, bitch! Call him a bitch, that'll help. <laughs> well, he's a Tory, so... <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I said politics on the internet! Oh god! Yeah. Uh, But vote for whoever you want, as long as it's not Donald Trump. Although I have to say, I do not envy the uh, decision people have to make in the U.S. You re- oh. I mean, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. I don't want to say too much, but... That's really sad, you know? It's like, how did that happen? But, uh, you know, I think... Just the one thing I would say is there's a lot of issues that probably are too political for me to talk about um, because you, you don't come here to be told to like, oh, well, this is right and this is wrong, but uh, Hillary Clinton does at least believe in climate change, whereas Donald Trump does not. And um, say what you will about anything else, but climate change is the most important matter in the world, so I guess that is something to think about. I've probably said this before because uh, it's something that actually really terrifies me, like legitimately keeps me up at night these days, um, so, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I feel very strongly about that, I mean, in fact, <laughs> I would, um, probably rig all of the world's elections to make all of the leaders, you know, believe in climate change so something will be done, because some things are more important than democracy, uh, like having a world on which to have democracy take place. But, yeah, that's just pretty much one of the big deciding factors for anything I vote about these days. And something I hope all of y'all will think about. Um, but obviously don't let me sway you. Um, but just, you know, think about climate change and your children. Well, that got really serious. I really didn't mean it, I uh, intended to. But, yeah, it's just one of those one of those things that I actually thought about, <laughs> you know, a lot this year. And was like, oh, yeah. 
that's really, really serious, and it became quite real, so it's something I do worry about. But anyway, let's build the city more. I don't know why I talk about politics so much in this series. I think it comes from... Oh yeah, I need to also be pumping out this. I think it comes from playing... A... I think it's just the nature of the game, really. It's like you do things, and then you think about, you know, political things. And if that is really an... I think... Most people probably enjoy it, because, you know, I'm, I'm usually joking about it. I try to be like with Donald Trump. He's he's a funny man. A funny, funny, dangerous man. Um, and, yeah, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes it, sometimes it gets real. <laughs> anyway, let's try and steer away from that, at least for the end of the episode. <laughs> oh... All right, what what else can we do? Uh, is there any other cool buildings we can get for the aquarium? Five thousand children in elementary school. That's depressing. That in a school uh, in a city of a hundred thousand people, I don't have five thousand people, five thousand children in elementary school. That is quite sad. I have failed this city. Oh, I don't have any elementary schools over here. Um, I will start increasing this because. Um, it is going to drop off too much, and that is a problem. Obviously, what I'm trying to do is balance it, you know, is keep enough people educated and enough people uneducated that it kind of balances out. Um, I'm just going to lay in a school bus here. Uh, but yeah, you, you kind of keep, need to find a balance in this game, and I think having the schools out policy on, and also having um, pretty much just trying to have a 25-25% uh, split in all of the education categories it usually seems to work out best if you're doing the same sort of industry setup as me, but I guess if you don't have so much stuff like, um, I think lumber industry doesn't require much education, if you don't have that then you probably could have a higher educated rate. Um, and if you're more offices I guess. Um, that's another tape tip! <laughs> yeah, I, I, they're not top tips, they're tape tips. Copyright. Trademark. Don't say tape tips. I'll sue you. I did get a copyright strike the other day, actually, on some music in the YouTuber's Life video. So don't go and watch that, because fuck whoever that was. No one's leaving the city! Because they're scared of hitting the wire. Yeah, don't leave my city. Come to my city. We got. I think we're doing well on tourism these days. How are we doing? Yeah, it's not bad. We get a bit of commercial income. I would interest to know exactly how many tourists we have. I guess we can tell partly by public transport. Wow, we have a thousand people using a thousand tourists using public transport every every week. So that's not bad. Yeah, we have a lot of people. I mean, I think my public transport system's pretty good. Um, it's messy, and I will try and redo it or something. There's some kind of bug in my room. It's, it's flying. What are you? Show yourself. Are you, are you an evil one that can sting me? Um, I'll have to get that out peacefully. I try not to kill bugs anymore. Cause I, I don't know. It seems like... It seems kind of weird that, you know, people... Like, just do, like, kill a bug. Because it's like... Well, I mean, we are all just... A random collection of particles. So why does... Why does that one... That collection of particles need to... Die, you know? It's, uh... I've had a lot of physics-based epiphanies this year. Um, well, I do go to uh, university filled with champagne socialists, so <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Um, but I, I don't think socialism is all bad. But obviously, if you say that, the United States, it's the Cold War. Um, but I, that's a horrible generalization. It's like I found out the other day, interestingly, uh, somewhat topically, um, that. I didn't realize it this high, but 92% of American citizens would like some kind of gun reform. And the media has fed it to me that all, pretty much, obviously not all, but like so many Americans, they just want their guns and, you know, they don't want anyone to tell them they can't have guns. But 92% of Americans are fucking sane people. I'm quite mad at the media for being like, no, they're not. No, they all are just gun toting morons. It's like, no. No. <laughs> I don't know, I think America's painted very negatively, probably disproportionately, which is sad, because I'm, uh, you all know that I uh, very much love the United States. I should probably say the US, not America, because 
there's a lot of things in America that aren't just the United States. But anyway, yeah, so, and there's been a lot of, um, a lot of good stuff happening in, you know, there's, there was a 15 hour filibuster for gun control, which is incredible, a 15 hour filibuster, where, that's basically where uh, someone in the Congress, in Congress just, um, or the Senate, I'm not fully sure of the whole systems, but anyway, yeah, someone in, you know, Congress just talks for as long as they can, so that they hold up the uh, Congress. And there's also currently um, a government uh, sit-in in the Senate or the Congress. I, I don't know. I don't understand your systems. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, just a sit-in so that they can't form anything because people are so fucking sick of the NRA having too much power and and just beautiful people being shot, you know. Um, and yeah, it's all rather horrible, but but yeah, I was just very happy to hear that 92% of Americans is like some kind of reform. And I doubt that they're all like, oh, get rid of guns, because that's fine, I guess, it's part of your culture. But, you know, maybe people on the terrorist watch list shouldn't have guns, because... <laughs> that doesn't, how is that even an argument point? It's like, should we let terrorists have guns? No. No, I don't think we should. Really? Terrorists shouldn't have guns? It's like, no, I... I don't think they should. Yeah, that seems pretty, uh, pretty fucking logical. But yeah, so I was very happy to hear that and very mad at the media for you know, portraying it wrongly. Just too much, too much flack towards the United States. But yeah, so that's good. I'm just going to put in a quick junction here so that you can get off the motorway right into here. That'll be good. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry that it's been, I've talked so much about political issues, but they're on my mind today, because, you know, Brexit, um, that's Britain exiting the EU, EU if you're not part of all of this, and it, yeah, and if it's on my mind, I'm just going to talk about it, you know, because, you know, I want to, I want to be honest with y'all, sort of thing, um, and I'm not a, I'm not one of those people who talks about my problems on YouTube, because I have it so hard that I get to play video games on the internet, but, you know, it's just, I guess, more just an interesting talking point than anything else. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, put this in. I could make this a two-way junction, but I can't be bothered, so. Alright. Ah, yeah. Alright. And, okay, this is kind of ugly, but whatever. Um... But I want to just get it done and call it because it's been like 32 minutes and I aim for these to be like 30 minute episodes. But often that doesn't happen because, well, you know, sometimes I just have more things to do and a, a, a rigid time limit sometimes isn't the best thing. Um, Alright. So I'll make this a motorway runway. It's a good uh, motorway runway? Motorway roundabout. <laughs> runway. What are you talking about, Willis? I don't even know what that's from. It's just reference I've heard from places. Um, we want one way. Actually, just have motorway roads running right into it. Um, oh yeah, I want to have them like this because that curves off more nicely. Um, and then just flip it around. Although it does misshape my roundabout a little bit. Um, and then link this up like this if there's space. Oh, also, awesome update on uh, Total War. I haven't done that in a while. Um, I have uh, totally wrecked France. I have France now. I've pretty much eradicated from from the Americas. I, uh, I now have France um, and they're a meager country and, well, meager nation and I am uh, currently at war with Spain, and I allied with Prussia, because they were the superpower I was going to fight, and I was like, why would I fight these guys? They're really strong. So, yeah, it all worked out pretty well. So, Britain can go alone. <laughs> In the old days, when we had an empire. We don't have an empire anymore. But anyway, um, yeah, so, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too political, but you know, these things will be on my mind occasionally, and I probably will have to talk about them, because... I mean, what else am I going to talk about? I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been episode 36. Jesus, that's a lot of episodes of City Skylines After Dark. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.